get started with Halo 5 Guardians. Bring out the gimp. <laughs> what the fuck? A surreal setting upon which many great nations are founded. Loose, but not quite tight, and an ingestible product of deep desire concluded by a similar reason, but unjust to owing cash converters for many products sold. Cry me a river of acid blood, rich tease rule. What the fuck? That... LUFC for life, 1985. If that means Leeds United, I'll let you off. But what the fuck? <laughs> is that a review? How is that a review? Cry me a river of acid blood, rich teas. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, people do confuse me. Kill yourselves, as this one's entitled. Is this the Madeline McCann find the simulator or fucking... What? Whoa, man. What the fuck has Madeline McCann got to do with Halo? I've never played it, but I'm pretty sure Madeline McCann does not pop up in Halo. Why can't you make good Halos? What's the honest... Whatever. Have you done with the franchise? No wonder Halo has lost its superiority in the gaming community. Sorry. I literally have a better chance at reviving Hitler than the franchises. Thank you, Trippier Red D X 70 What the... Oh, I don't know, move on. This next one's just titled Sexy AF, which stands for sexy as fuck. Well, good, innit? Thank you, Dark Statue 95 for that fantastic review. And four people found that helpful. That's four more than I thought it would be. <laughs> sexy, what the fuck does that mean? Sexy as fuck. Anyway, next. This one's just entitled Disgusting. Disgusting! The campaign is meh. Meh. Just meh. But the multiplayer is probably one of the worst multiplayers available on Xbox. Don't waste money or time on it. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Surely someone as witty as the Merc with the Mouth would also get witty reviews based on his game. So let's check out Deadpool. The game felt rushed, horrible to play, the humour in the game was O'Carl. <laughs> Fucking O'Carl. In all, just a bad game. One star, no good. Pew once optional. Thanks for that review. So White Arrow 3590 claims it as an amazing game. I like the fact that if you replay the game, it keeps your points. See, don't like that alternate costumes cannot be used in game. Cool. Bad boy Ben 79. That's like the next generation of Ben 10. It's gonna be amazing. He just says amazing. By now, I have all the guns and weapons, including the plasma gun and the amazing hamers, and I don't dislike anything. Yeah, me neither. Let's take a look at EA Sports FIFA 19, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see some really funny reviews on this one. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Wow, seriously, a five-star review, and he just says it's not that bad. Honestly, people who rated one star... Has not even given it a chance. Not spent a penny and rule team of special cards. The game is dying down. But that's only because a new FIFA is coming out again. Won't be buying until FIFA 13. Now there's not much improvement can be done until then. Well, savage cow. There's a fucking lot that needs improving. And what do you mean by spent a penny and rule team of special cards? So you're saying that it's only good if you buy... The ultimate team packs? Fuck that review. Would rather get Mongolian bull torture while being waterboarded by the sweat of an African's cock than play this. And that one's just entitled Depression. So this one is called the best in the FIFA franchise. Best FIFA title yet. Plays well and refs are perfect. Mm. Rubbish like real life. Feels amazing. Up the Leeds United. Yes, I will give that one an up, the Leeds United. But Ben Glazer? <laughs> Seriously? Rubbish, like real life. The best, yet. Yeah. I think you need to do a little bit more thinking, mate. AIDS. Everyone has AIDS! I have more chance of finding Madeline McCann than packing an 82 plus rating player. Talk about going dark. Seriously, Tricks Optic 13. What the fuck? Where do I start? Okay. 
Bates' son looks like a fat, hard-boiled egg. Madeline, why is everyone starting on Madeline McCann? Madeline McCann's parents have a better chance of finding their daughter than my players making more than one pass. You need to get better. Don't get me started on the touches. I would rather let Rolf Harris touch my balls than any icon. Adam Johnson has a better chance of playing football again than me packing a player higher than 82. 9-11 was a hoax. Nazis and Hitler's kids were behind it. Bateson's Jack receives daddy's milk out of his 10 inch wang. Amen. Okay. Okay. Just, yeah. I also want to point out, look at the ratings look at the fucking one stars compared to the five a 1.4 average just wow yeah. let's step into the squared circle now with the reviews for wwe 2k19 so i am the big guy who gives it a five fucking stars with the title ole and it says sammy Zayn for universal champion and kevin owens for wwe champion book it vince but the gameplay is a load of poo. The, that's not a fucking five star, is it? Uh, Jay Helm, apparently is what I'm going to say, is giving it a one star. Awful. Plays horribly. Feels like they tried to be clever, but it just doesn't t work. AI is still nasty. The horrible kick-out thing is still it. Absolutely got it. I paid £85 for this. You paid £85 for this? What the fuck is wrong with you, mate? So, Blood Drinker 57. Nice name. Gives it a 5 star but actually just says the game is good. Game is okay to okay to get Ray. Ray. What? Fucking Ray Winston. Ray from Star Wars. Fucking Ray Romano. Who the fuck is Ray? Need to go on the website on a laptop and read damn load and we'll get him. I'm still trying to work out who Ray is. Unban me from Paul Holmes 6473. Game ban me permanently for making Hitler. Make the ban one week. Because <laughs> he made Hitler. I'm guessing he went a creator superstar and made Hitler. So 2K went, get the fuck out of here. You're banned. And now he's pleading. Please don't ban me permanently. Just ban me for a week. Fucking hell, man. So let's turn to something more recent with the reviews for Blair Witch. So, Uncle T, MUFC, which probably stands for Manchester United, uh, gives it a one star review of just poor. Got the Xbox One X and the game plays like. Well, I'm guessing he said shit. The tent is a prick. The tent is a prick. And this game's a waste of lifetime. The tent is a prick. Feared Hero has given it a one star review, just says, Hurts my eyes. Whenever turning left or right, it hurts my eyes. My eyes! Let's head to the high seas now as we take a look at some of the reviews for Sea of Thieves. What the fuck is that? Did you just headbutt the fucking keyboard? Microsoft Store is very, very bad. Seriously, what the fuck? Absolute garbage. Thank you, Merdragon. Tried fix game only to see what like. Glad never bought as absolute garbage. No direct con. Direct on con. What the? I don't even know how to pronounce that bad spelling. Uh, I can't. Of what to do or where to go. And one person, one out of nine people found that review helpful. Freck 64, Steam, one star, and it just says, Steamy Game. Okay. I'll camp here, just gives it one star with the title, T, T, just T. And has just claimed that he's scared of pirate. Now let's take a look at Curve Digital's uh, Human Fell Flat, which I kind of hope there is some good reviews out here for this, considering it's sort of an indie title. Yim Yum, five star from Dog Nut, one, two, three, and he claims it's 
it. Mini fun time and you go wee! Hooray, fun. The whole time play. I like funny ragdoll physics and friends who play the game also as well. Should have good communal workshoppy to play and make fun le new levels. Should be characters like a squirrel and sausage. <laughs> sausage roll called Greg. I fucking love that. Also, Bart Simpson, Simpson eat pan. <laughs> Fun, four funny faces is funny. Yim, yum. That right there. That's what you call a fucking review. Battle lethal. Lethal. Battle lethal. I don't know. 36 gives it five stars with just the title. Cool. And claims that my 50 year old son loves this game. Is there a reason why your 50 year old son loves this game? It's just a joke. Why is your 50 year old son playing this game? Hmm. Maybe we should just fucking speak to your 50 year old son and he could give us some feedback on why he loves this game. XX Fizzy Potato. <laughs> fizzy Potato, sorry. XX gives it a one star with suck. It is really revolting just like you. Who, me? Me? You? You, me, you, I don't know. I don't know. It just suck. Now, I was really intrigued by what the reviews of Mass Effect Andromeda would have been considering how hated that game was when it came out. I personally liked it, but look at this. There's no fucking reviews for it. They've taken the reviews down. This must have been the worst game like rated on this store to have it literally just taken down. So... Fuck you, EA. Let's move on. Okay, let's get into the main event as we take a look at some reviews for Fortnite. And uh, before I get into the reviews of this, I just want you to look at the ratings. Like, the ratings for this game, and apparently this is the most popular game in the whole entire fucking world right now, and it has a 2 out of 5 stars. Oh, let's, this is going to be fucking hilarious. So Dorito Guy 120 is just <laughs> fun star. Very gay ten year old sweet sweats. Gay and full of ten year olds who steal their mum's credit card just to act hard even though they are scared to ask for ketchup in restaurants. <laughs> that's that's fucking brilliant. Winter Z Arctic, another one star. Absolutely no IKEA beds for sale. I went into IKEA and nothing was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly set the top with rubber hand. Oh my god. And 53 people found that helpful. Apparently they are also upset that there is no beds for sale in Ikea. Uh, sm sm I'm not even going to say that name. Fault gay suck my pee pee like Luke E. Gale Watson. This game is bad. Okay. Oh, this is a long one. Uh, Mag Magenta Raven. One star. I have unstoppable rabies. Okay, let's move on to the review. Shrek came to my house and screwed me in after playing this game. Shrek closely whispered into my ear, balls deep in my curvaceous bleep, and commanded me to throw a cat in the Auschwitz oven. Otherwise, I, if I didn't, he would not. So I did. After that, I said, you know what? I'm alright having ogre babies. <laughs> so Shrek... Unleashed his ogre <laughs> I was overjoyed by this and was happy I was going to have Shrek's babies. That's until I noticed my belly wasn't enlarging. Shrek then took me to the doctors and asked what was wrong with my female body. Turns out I was actually a boy all along and I hadn't even gone through puberty yet because all I played was this shit wank of a game. That's a fucking review. All reviews need to be like that. It doesn't matter what game you're playing. IGN as well. If you're doing a review, you need to give us a story about Shrek. Just simple. Fortune XZ. Oh, wow. The aftermath of 9-11. Really. This game is a fucking Santa... I'm going to guess that says fucking Santa sack of sweaty seven-year-olds who spends 500 pound quid. Yeah. A fucking day 
and they have a fucking fire extinguisher next to them because their sweat might burn ba down the house. Down. Autism, Ebola, cancer, shit, wank off to an elf, you fucking seven year old. Ooh. Ninja is my dad. Well, if Ninja's your dad, then my dad is Hulk Hogan. Uh.